Hello, learners and leaders. I am so glad you're here today. I'm so excited to hang out with you and do something new. We have been reading When the Shad Bush Blooms for the past couple weeks. We have talked about how the Lenape people use the moon as um, their calendar, how they use the seasons to track where they are in the year. We have talked about um, our grandparents' grandparents and the grandparents' grandparents in this. We've talked about our ancestors, compared them to the grandparents' grandparents in this book, how they might be similar and how they might be different. Today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to make a traditional Lenape toy that might have been used way, way a long time ago. You want to make a Lenape toy? Come on, let's go. Learners and leaders, what are some of your favorite games to play? Do you play football or chess or soccer or video games? In When the Shadbush Blooms, we are introduced to a Lenape family, to a girl that lives right now when we live. And she talks about some games that she likes to play now. And she also talks about some games that her grandparents' grandparents played so a long time ago. We are going to make one of those games, a game that was played long, long ago. It is called a Coco Lesh or a cup and pin game. All right, let's get started. The Lenape people are the people that are described in When the Shadbush Blooms. Traditionally, they lived in the Northeast woodlands in places like Pennsylvania, Delaware, and New Jersey. Right now, there are large Lenape populations in Oklahoma and Wisconsin. Just like you, traditional Lenape kids found ways to entertain themselves and have fun. Um, they played a game with a hoop and darts to help practice their hunting skills. They played pickup sticks, which you might have played. Um, actually, the Northeast Woodlands, which the Lenape are part of, invented the game of lacrosse, which you have definitely probably seen or played. Today, we're gonna make a kokolesh, which is a cup and pin game that traditional Lenape played. To make our kokolesh, we're gonna need a few supplies. We're gonna need a dowel. A dowel is just a word for a smooth stick. You can get these at any hardware store or craft store. We're gonna need a piece of string or a strip of leather. Traditionally, this would have been a strip of leather, which is what I have today, but you can definitely use yarn or paracord or just whatever you have lying around. We just need a string type thing. We need a um, tin cup. Oh, this is actually a very large pastry tip that I got at my craft store. Traditionally, we would have used a piece of bone, a hollowed out piece of bone, a really stiff piece of hide, or as European settlers started to move in, a tin cup was used. We're also going to need some tape potentially to hold our string or leather strip on, and we're going to need a cotton ball. Traditionally, the Lenape would have used a rabbit tail, but I figured all my rabbits might want their tails, so I'm using a cotton ball instead. The first thing we're gonna do is take our string and tie it around our cotton ball. All right, just wrap it around and tie. And I'm gonna tie a second knot. And that's it, easy. Our rabbit tail is tied on. Then we're gonna take our cup and put our string through it. All right, there we go. The cup should be able to move on the string. See how that can move? That's what we're looking for. And then we're gonna tie our string to our dowel. Give yourself enough room for a little handhold there and tie it on. I might tape mine depending on whether or not it wiggles. You can tape it or not. It's really kind of up to you. This leather is a little bit tricky to work with. It might be easier to work with string, just as an FYI to you. Okay, and that actually feels like it's on there pretty good. And just like that, you have a coco lesh. And that's it. This is our completed cup and pin game. You play the game by flipping the cup up and trying to catch it on the end of your stick. 
Does that remind you of anything else you might have played? How about this one? Have you ever played anything like that cup and ball game? What are some other games that you play today that your grandparents' grandparents or Lenape ancestors might have played? How about things like dice and dolls? Those are most definitely things that your ancestors probably played and that Lenape ancestors played. The smaller the cone on our Kokolesh, the more challenging it is. It's kind of like leveling up in a video game. This is pretty tricky, but I bet if I keep practicing, I'll get it. Learners and leaders, good job. We learned a little bit about the Lenape tribe, which is the tribe featured in When the Shadbush Blooms. We made a Coco Lash, which is a traditional Lenape toy. We practiced it a little bit, it's tricky. We also talked a little bit about the ways that our ancestors and Lenape ancestors might be similar and different from us. Um, there are a lot of differences between the way that we live now and the way that people lived long, long ago, but we're maybe not as different as you might think. If you want more activities based on when the shad bush blooms, have your grown-ups go to my website. I'll put the link in the description below and look for shad bush activity packs. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe so you can see more fun activities when they come along next time. And as always, grown-ups, I will put a blog post in my website. I'll link it below with complete instructions. Have a great day, learners and leaders.